So you just take those, pop the center caps out of these things first. Then you just pry these up, pop out of there, and out of there. And you just work an edge, you just grab it and pop out these little clips. Pop right out. I'd already done it, but I forgot to set this video. Set them up and out of the way. You got three bolts on the top. There. That's if you're going to take the bumper off. I would suggest doing it if you're not doing the bumper too. Uh, you're going to need to take those out anyways because you, there's no room to get your arm in there unless you're a child. Like So <clears throat> that'll allow you enough flex. I'd already loosened them. I already took them out, like I said. All right, we'll go for more. Alright, got the car lifted up. Before we can take the bumper off, we gotta take these guys off. Just get in behind them. I'm not gonna be able to do it with two hands, but basically you just pop either side of this clip off. It'll recede back in there and you just pop it back on when you're done. Just like that. And they just kinda pop off. Looks like somebody's already taken this out once. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a screw there. Let's see if I can I turn on a flash. Uh, here. Oh, there we go. Uh, this screw, this screw, this one, this one. There was one in there, I'm not sure. But, uh, one tucked up there. Take those guys out. I don't want you to pry this forward to get the screws in here that you need. Alright, so there's a bolt there, 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 and that guy up there. I'm not sure if there's anything else. I've never done this before. So, we're doing this together. Okay, so then. There's a couple screws. Under here. So there. They're there. And they're supposed to be these all the way across the bottom. But apparently they've been taken off and nobody put them back. So we'll go for that. Okay, so things I learned along the way trying to take this bumper off. I didn't need to take those off, I don't believe yet. I'll find out. I thought the bolts and the fender I had to take out from this way. There's a couple little tabs that just pop out, and then these tabs just hold it in. Pry. Thanks, James Ryder, for that. And same thing on the other side. I took the headlights out for ease ventilation. They're super easy. Just have this little clip here. And then push in this tab that apparently broke, which is awesome. Um, yeah, and they slide right out. Uh, that's it. Okay, so now to get the grill out, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Okay, once those screws are removed, they're just little tabs here that you have to push in and pop out. I'm not going to try to do that one-handed, but that's basically how you do it. You just pop those out. I'm going to take that one out too. Maybe that one's one too. I don't know. We'll check it out. Alright, so once you remove the screws, you just pry on these little tabs. Pry them up and over the up and over the thing. I can't really do it one-handed. Pop those out, and it should just pop all the rest of them out. So I have this little clip here in the way. It's attached to one of the tabs, one of these tabs that have to come out. So I had to take that off. Alright, so those popped out one easily once I got that off. I just gotta undo this wire for the... Uh, adaptive cruise preheater thingamabob that's in here. Right, now that that's disconnected, these just hold on 
by these little tabs. I'm just going to pry these tabs out to get this front plate off. Here. Or here. Not this one. But these guys here. Okay, so I forgot behind my plate there's these four screws here to loosen it up. Alright, so now that I've got this piece off, I'm going to steal the idea from the other guy that James posted me on. So basically I'm going to cut it probably right about where that line is. Uh, I'm going to cut it right about here and then fix it right over the back plate, right over there. And then I'll just run the wires across. Alright, so now that I cut this piece, I tried to fit it on. I'm going to probably take these tabs out and this edge here out because it's going to sit because it doesn't want to sit flush so I'll cut this out right here and then I'm going to work on running the wire I wanted to run the wire through this hole but it's not wide enough I might cut this a little bit here and here just to get the route the wire through and then underneath on the back side so you don't see the wire in the front. Let's see how it goes. Alright, I was able to get the plug through there actually just angling it and pushing down and it went through. I did cut that back edge off. I basically just scored it with a knife cut pushed on a hard surface with a razor knife straight down there and straight down there and then grab pliers and just wiggle it back and forth until it popped. Same thing here. I had to bevel this corner to match that corner somewhat because it kept hitting. And I think the next step I'm going to do is just do some of the trusty epoxy probably just on this edge, that edge, this back flat, and that edge over there and just see what it grabs and go from there. I'll clean this up first and we'll affix this just like that there and I'll reroute the wire behind so hopefully it'll just kind of look like that. Let you know. One more thing I did do just to hope this wire doesn't get in the way of the adaptive. I shoved as I'm gonna it, put it on I'm shoving all of this excess back into there and the rest of it is ran down and around and out so there's no there'll be no obstruction I'm not sure that it matters because you're putting a whole solid plastic piece in front of it but I don't want any interference or whatever I don't want any problems after this is done so I'm just gonna get it out of the way that's it one of the things I neglected to show um, earlier and I have another one to show um, but basically this is what these are these came in the grill it's for holding the sensors but my sensors are down in the bumper so i don't did not need them at all so basically what i did to fit the camera is i just nix i just basically popped them from these plastic welds there and there i tried cutting this and making it sit and it, it just wouldn't sit flush and it actually turned out pretty good just popping that plastic weld and just using this front piece a little bit update on the camera so this thing is pitted pretty bad um, but what I ended up doing is just epoxying it right flush with this thing here and this is gonna sit inside and I'll epoxy this into one of the rungs in the grill and we'll go from there all right, so this fits like crap. Uh, doesn't really want to shove in. I tried shaving the edges down a little bit to try to make it get it to focus, make it fit in there a little bit better. But I think because of the angle or whatever, they're not. It's not really fitting in very good. Um, the other thing is you want to make sure that you know which way is up thought about that um, this little tab thing is on the upside um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place it 
in the right place. I'm going to take some two part epoxy and just kind of set it on there and epoxy um, the edges around to it. And that should be pretty good. I'll just make sure that it's square on there when I do it, obviously. And that should seal in there pretty good. Update that. I set it, just kind of set it on there evenly. Epoxy filled in around the edges. Hopefully it'll seal. Okay, so one of my major reasons for taking the bumper off of this project uh, was I was going to try to wrap this thing. I wanted to vinyl wrap it because it's going to take a lot of abuse being in the front. <sighs> this thing doesn't come off. I mean, it does, but not without major surgery. Um, yeah, it is not ideal. So, it's just getting painted and touched up when it gets dinged because, yeah, F that. I'm going to start the install process back. Got the front painted. This is what the camera looks like installed. Not too bad. Just kind of epoxied on there. I'm gonna actually put my easy pass right there. I'll show you guys that in a second. All right, got my easy pass installed for those of you in the US. I don't know, you guys might have something over the pond. But you put it there. <coughs> this goes on like so, and it's hidden behind everything. You can't really see it. I might shift it to the bottom actually. Um, you can see it a little bit but once it's if it's behind here you really can't see it much at all it's pretty much completely hidden so there you go all right <clears throat> ran into a bit of an issue with this plate so basically it's if you look here you can see it's it's hitting if you can see that but it's hitting so i'm gonna have to take this back off take this off of course I epoxied it and uh, try to figure out what I can do moving forward to try to get that thing to sit flush because I don't want that I mean you can see it's sticking out so this is over here it's flush so we'll get that fixed all right so adhesive finally dried um, and I moved it over. I just moved it over till it hit the dip. I should have taken a picture before I put it back in. But you can see it's it's flush now. Just about it's close enough for me. Um, yeah, I ended up putting two screws in there. I hit it with a coat of paint just so everything's black. My Easy Pass hidden behind the Audi emblems. Um, yeah, gonna screw it up. Put the screws in the back side, hook up the uh, camera and the connection for the heater, and then we're going to reinstall the bumper. Take that tape off. Alright, so I got all the screws back in. Now for the fun part, putting this thing back in. A few things I had to disconnect. These wires over here, they attach to these clips in here. To put these back in the washer spots, hook them back up into the hose clips there, there, and there. Same thing for the other side. There were no wires on this side. They all hooked up through those wires on the other side. All right, let's hook this stuff back up and do it again. All right, got it back on. A few things that were slightly difficult uh, putting back on. This part right here, I don't know if you can see it very well. I had to pry it around on both sides. I had to like physically pry it around to get this to line up. And then you have to make sure that the bumper slides into these tabs. The one side, this side over here, went fairly easily. 
but this this side over here I fought with trying to get up underneath the tabs um, and get it in and lined up but she went so now it's just uh, putting screws back in um, sliding the headlights in which is stupid easy uh, just a little wonky getting it in you have to kind of angle it but to take them out I mean it's literally you pull this up and push this tab down and it slides right out it's super easy putting these back on is pretty straightforward I don't think I can do it one-handed but basically I just pull this out Let's see if I can rig this up up in here and then just slide them up click just like that finished project finally I actually ended up painting the connection to the uh, ca front camera black because it was bright blue and normally it was hidden by the, I don't know, little receptacle thing, uh, but it wasn't. So it was bright blue behind there. So it stuck out like a sore thumb. So I ended up painting that. But all in all, she looks good.